Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. In previous episodes, we've looked at adjustable arrays and arrays with fill pointers. Now we're going to see what happens when we combine the two. All right, so if I hop over to my machine here, we can see we've got a few things set up already. So we have a variable called a0, which contains an array, which has three elements, or it's like sized to hold three elements. It has a fill pointer of zero, so none of them are active, and it's adjustable. So when we look at a0 over here, we're not surprised that it looks empty, even though we set the size to three, because we know that how the fill pointer works. However, now we're going to see how this adjustable thing interacts with fill pointer. We're going to do the same kind of thing as we did before. We're going to try and push some values into the array. So let's push one into this and let's push two. And then let's look at our array again and uh, look at here too. Right, so we can see we've got those two values in. We can see that the length is still three. We can see that this last one has yet to become active because the fill pointer is two. Let's push in that last one now. Great. And we look at the vector. We look at this. So far, everything is the same as it was in the fill pointer episode. Now what I want to do is I want to push another value in. This is going to fail, of course. Again, just like the fill pointer episode, this does not change the size of the array of the vector. So what do we need to do? Well, it's adjustable, so we could use adjust array to resize it. But there's another function that might be helpful here called vector push extend. And what this does is it will resize the array that you're pushing into when it's run out of elements. So if we look now, we can see that it's succeeded. It's got the fourth thing. And if we go here, we're going to see something slightly surprising. It now has size of six. It has six elements in it. The fill pointer is set to four. So we're only, only these ones are active. So, to so, to so far, so far. So what's going on and how do we control this? Rather than having to resize the array every time you push something in and there's no room, what it's doing is it's making enough room that you can push a few more things in before it has to resize again. You can control this if we look at the, let's move this down to a new line just for a little bit of clarity here. If we look down in the signature here, you can see vector push extend takes a new element, the vector, and a min extension, which is like how many, um, how much space do you want to put at the end of this vector when I do the resize? If we run out of something, how many shall I put? So let's put 20 there, right? And we are then going to push 5 in. And we can see that now five is in there. We're going to push six in. So far, the array is still the same size, but now it's all of its all of its uh, contents are now full. All of its elements are now populated. All of them are active because the fill pointer now matches the dimensions, matches the length. Now, what happens when we push in seven? Of course, the array looks like how we'd expect. We've got from 1 to 7. But if we go and look in the inspector, we now see that the length is 26 because it was 6 before. But when it extended, the minimum extension it was allowed to do was 20. So now we've got all these elements in here as well. This is quite cool because resizing, adjusting an array is probably having to allocate some more memory and copy things over. So we'd, if we're going to be pushing lots of things into this, um, or at least doing some stuff that would mean it would have to adjust frequently, then this can be quite a good win because we just give ourselves more room than we need and then we have to adjust less frequently. As with before, if you change the fill pointer, if you bring that back, um, there can still be, in fact, let's do that just for the sake of argument. Let's set off the fill pointer of A0 to be three. All right, so now we look at A0. And we can see that it's one, two, three. Um, all these elements past one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, these are all still in the array. Remember that the fill pointer is just saying what area, what parts of the array are active. It doesn't mean that the garbage collector is able to go and free things that are further down in the array in the inactive portion. It doesn't matter here because we're just storing numbers, but if you're storing references to big objects, for example, that you're expecting to be freed, make sure you clear the element of the array before you pull that fill pointer back. All right, that's all I wanted to talk about this time. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in another little bit of Lisp.